Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review episode 6 of season 2 of Rap Shit. This episode is called U-Turn. So I'm gonna try to make this quick. I know my last video was kind of long so. But yeah, this was a decent episode. It was funny to me. Dang, I was about to say it was light. It definitely wasn't light. It just, it felt like a filler episode with a little bit of violence. So I'm going to split up the review by characters again. I'm going to start with Chastity and then go into Shauna and then Mia. So overall, we start off with the aftermath of AK um, setting himself on fire. I don't know if he did on purpose or on accident, but um, basically the tour is on hold and we start off with footage um of the aftermath of everything and then we go right into uh, this podcast and obviously it's just making fun of a lot of the podcasts that are out right now especially the male podcast and these guys are super insensitive um not taking it serious basically saying ak is soft and not a man um i guess he should just I, I don't know after getting set on fire i guess he should just get up and get right back into the studio with burns on his ass yeah and then they get into the whole conspiracy thing which i thought was funny because that's what y'all be doing that's exactly what y'all be doing and and it's ridiculous because i mean the actual issue is that he has mental illness you know he's depressed about what's going on in his life but you know y'all we can't get to the root of this if you're blaming it on the illuminati so anyway that's just overall just to start off the episode but let's get into chastity so basically one of her girls i guess gets arrested she was somewhere she was doing too much and um she gets arrested and i guess chastity asked her you know the pretty v's character like well did you speak to i guess a guy named dante i don't know if he was a manager or something did you speak to him um before you got there and she hadn't so there was that um and then she basically said you guys are gonna go on this block they were like no this guy named bugs pushed us off the block which I guess I didn't realize until this episode that they're really like on the street. <laughs> I think sometimes, I, obviously I don't keep up with that much sex work. I keep up with more like OnlyFans type girls. So I'd be forgetting that there's girls and guys, um, but girls on still on the street <laughs> and girls going into hotels and motels. So they really out here. They're really out here. It's, seems very dangerous but i think it's just like a eye opener to the fact that there are sex workers who are still out here in the streets in the hotels motels holiday inns um but you know blue's basically like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna handle it i'm like oh lord so yeah so blue goes to his motel i guess this is the block i was thinking it was like just a street but it's this motel she she was really ballsy going up in there because i mean any of those people could have had a gun on them like she really she just came through and just disrupted so many people in the middle of their act it was crazy i'm like she could have gotten killed and what was up with the grills i'm like why do you need your grills why do you need your grills on it was like going on somebody was getting pegged i'm like why why did the woman have a sandwich in her hand i'm confused like is that what he wanted that that was a little too much but um so she did that and of course she thought nothing of it and it kind of makes me think how did this guy named bugs how did he know it was her if she had a ski mask on so i don't know i don't remember her saying her name or anything but i guess yeah now that i think about it i'm trying to think how he knew that because it's like unless he knew okay i just took this block from her so she's going to retaliate um but I, I mean she had a ski mask on so let's see so then of course she goes to meet her girls to go pick them up and they don't come out and i thought something was up she goes up there and this guy named bugs and his goons are up there with guns to the girl's he head and um they beat blue up really really bad i couldn't even look well part of it they didn't really show but i'm just like see this this is this is that crazy like like blue is taking so many l's she's taking so many l's this season it's very sad but she's also a pimp so it's like 
that's what comes with this this life and then probably is even worse with her being a woman so then we see chastity and the uncle and chastity i didn't realize that she got crashed in the mouth she lost a damn tooth uh, i'm like that's crazy i don't like that i don't like seeing her beat up another thing i was gonna say is that when the girls were waiting for her to come back after picking up one of the girls who got arrested they were saying like oh my gosh she's gonna slap us blah 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 i'm glad they didn't show that but i think it's smart for them to not show chastity being violent because she's a main character and i don't really think that that would look good for her on this show I know it's in her and obviously we saw last season her yell at Pretty V's character but it's like that would really put her low on the list for us to you know feel empathy for <laughs> if she's slapping these girls around you know but I was glad that they didn't I'm glad that she didn't do that so and her uncle says something about um she's gonna no the uncle says something about He's gonna teach her how to get respect which is just crazy to me because to me it just becomes a psycho you know with a lot of this stuff like i don't know a lot about it i don't have any experience in it but i'm just like you know they take your block you shoot up the block and rob people well, what did she actually do now that i think about it, i guess she just broke everything up did she rob the people i don't think she did but you do she did what she did they beat her up now her uncle kills one of them and it's like does it actually stop anything you know it might stop but for the most part like what if his guys come out and retaliate back so i'm just like to me it just seems like a psycho but i guess in that game you also don't want to get punked and so it's like if you show okay I'm, I'm not playing these games then people might not punk you but i'm like there's always going to be somebody so it's just at the end of the day blue just needs to get out of this situation her and uncle pull up on the guy and basically the uncle beats him up really bad and then shoots him so i was like is he just going to beat him up but i, I could have swore i saw in the trailer that he had shot the guy so he did that and really blue didn't even want him to kill the guy so i don't think that blue is really made for this life at all you know and it's sad because she's been in it since she's been young i mean they didn't say what age she got into it but obviously when she went under her uncle he was already a pimp so he introduced her to this life so yeah she need to get it together she needs to really get it together okay so now let's get into shauna so let's see so shauna is staying with mia because her roommate rented her room out which is crazy and i'm trying to think the roommate was like deaf i think I remember her being deaf and I remember Shauna not liking her. See, that's why I don't do roommates. And so, yeah, so Shauna and Mia speak about AK, Lord AK, and she was kind of blaming herself that uh, she could have done something. But it's like, she had only spoken to this guy like a couple of times. Like she didn't even really know him like that. But like, I get it. So I guess I'll, I'll just get into Nellie and the other friend coming over Mia's place. And they basically were all talking about what was going on. And they were being super insensitive about AK. I'm not going to lie. I laughed at some of the jokes. But it was just, it was messed up. Like the jokes that they were making. It was just, it, even if Shauna hadn't gotten close to AK, like that's a person, you know, and he was lit on fire obviously he was going through something so it's just like for them to make jokes was messed up is it just me or i feel like mia doesn't do enough like she doesn't do enough she could have really told her friends to stop or she could like kick them out i don't know they were doing too much especially and they don't they might not know that shauna is close to lord ak but mia does so i just felt like she could have really said something um but she didn't and then uh shauna went into the bathroom she basically had like a panic attack about it so that really upset her and then i'm not gonna get into all the other stuff uh me and her friends talk about it's just bird stuff bird tweedle tweedle so let's see so yeah so then shauna leaves to go to maurice's place she didn't call <laughs> which i still don't like maurice but i'm like you could have called before you went over but maybe if she called he wouldn't have um wanted her over um i thought it was kind of weird how it's like he was like you know oh i would have cleaned up if you if, if you called me before you came over she's like oh no that's fine it's like girl no it's not fine you don't get to say that's fine <laughs> you're over his house without you know calling before you came but anyway and so i guess she gives him a hug and um he really feels it like at first he's a little like reluctant to give her a hug but then i you know he he embraces it and i feel like this moment really showed him that shauna 
did nothing wrong like she didn't snitch on him she was on his side the entire time um but couldn't have been me but the thing is is that see it couldn't have been me just the way that he was acting like i get shauna didn't know that he recorded you know their their phone calls and all that but just the way that he was speaking to her to me for me would have been enough for me to not like deal with him then again you never know her being a nice person and coming over it could have i guess this this moment could have kind of saved her life because maybe if she would have ghosted him he would have really like snitched on her and maybe this moment made him realize okay she's done nothing wrong i'm not gonna snitch on her i'm i'm not gonna believe what my cousin is saying so the one thing i didn't like is that after she had slept over they were talking about their time at the hotel because he was like um getting rid of his clothes which first of all see this is an issue with these guys it's like i understand if you're broke and you do criminal activity to try to pay your bills but like you have like i don't remember the actual labels but you have gucci fendi whatever shirts like you're just doing the most that's what annoys me it's like a bunch of these people are scamming people just to look like they have money like how about you scam people and just pay your bills like why you gotta scam people and then buy luxury items like that's the issue there you know but anyway and so what I didn't like is when he, she had brought up their time at the hotel and he had said something like, oh yeah, you, you used to be mean to me. And she was like, um, no, I had a boyfriend and I wasn't trying to entertain you while I had a boyfriend. It's like, why do men do stuff like that? Like, that's just, that's just gaslighting, you know, like, and she still tried to make a light moment out of it i don't know he just gets on my nerves and so they ended up they were eating and playing around dancing and his cousin comes in and basically is just upset that he's speaking with shauna and his cousin just showed his his true self by snitching on maurice in front of shauna um basically saying you know do you know did you know that he was um recording your conversation so the cousin should or uh, maurice should have known right there that the cousin wasn't shit i mean really he should have known when he overheard the cousin talking that he wasn't shit like that he was the real issue you know and he and i think that's maurice also brought that up as well um the conversation that the cousin had behind his back so i'm like he's always been the real issue here and he had you switching up focusing on shauna when she's not the problem and even the cousin said something like what did he say he said he said something about shauna got th this girl got you in trouble it's like y'all all got yourself in in trouble like take accountability y'all all were scamming nobody got one person in trouble and of course shauna is upset but she needed that like she needed to see what was going on you know with maurice and she needs to just cut that off if he goes to jail he goes to jail <laughs> <laughs> should have been scamming people so the last thing i want to talk about is mia mia and lamont mia and her mom um one thing that i noticed when i watched this episode for a second time is that when melissa mia and lamont's daughter came over she mia had asked for like a kiss or something and melissa just ran past her that was like something that was really small in the beginning of the episode but i noticed it she said something about thin walls which i'm not gonna get into this but i can relate oh my gosh living here in atlanta like every apartment i've had has had thin walls and or or just people stomping especially this person that's above me now and i say this person i'm being nice by saying this person because i really be calling them every name but a child of god um any other time but um but that kind of plays into her conversation later with her mother um let's see her mom invites her out says something about ballers and it's just interesting obviously we've we've seen how the mom is since season one but i think them showing how the mom operates is important because it shows you why mia is the way that she is or how her friends are the way they are especially even though we didn't really see shauna's family her family is is different from mia's family so it really um ends up molding these girls and molding you know your parents and your family life a lot of times 
dictates how you're going to turn out not all the time obviously but i just think this show represents that well like mia acts the way that she acts because of her mother but at the same time i think she's trying to change things so she doesn't end up like her mother so let's get into lamont and this new girl <laughs> i was like who is this harpo who this woman i'm just like who is this <laughs> And I don't know if she was the same woman from the play date earlier. I don't feel like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I wasn't mad at her with the light choke on Lamont. Is that the light choking? Just light. Or maybe it's just a hand on the neck and I'm just a, a freak. I don't know. But, and she's different from me. I guess she's like, or she's different from Mia and Lamont. She's like vegan and quinoa. The quinoa burger made me very hungry like i've had no i don't think i've had a quinoa i have i've had a black bean burger and it's it's decent like see me the thing with me is that i'm a big like condiments person and and um toppings type of person so if i have like onions tomato lettuce some good like mustard or something i honestly i i think i could switch over to these type of burgers because yeah me it is different there's a different texture different taste but i'm just a condiments girl so I, I think i could switch over if i really put my mind to it so um yeah at one point i was like obsessed with black bean burgers i would get them from aldi's just cook them on a the skillet real quick and then you know bun lettuce tomato all that so but yeah and then she asked about um mia um making sure there was no issues and like at first i was like lamont i was like um it's none of her business but it does make sense and i don't know if lamont can sense this but i think that mia still has feelings for him so i do think it's good for him to let her know it's good to let her know so she can get acclimated so she can get in her mind this man is with someone else so um, but I couldn't see her like turning up on the girlfriend. I don't know. Hopefully not or whoever this girl is Hopefully not because that's just that's just too much y'all aren't together So I thought it was cute when me and her daughter were playing um, it's, it's just cool to see Mia in this type of environment just because again I said this in the first the first episode I like that we're getting into the lives of women like Mia I just don't really feel like we do that as much like of course we see these girls on ig and you know it's the city girls and it's megan and it's cardi but seeing the behind the scenes of them kind of letting their guards down or let seeing mia let her guard down and play with her daughter like these women still are moms at the end of the day and they have that softer side to them and they have the vulnerable side to them they have the fun side so i just like um i, I like that scene um i don't know what's wrong with melissa's little restaurant why she only has bacon and eggs like what's that about <laughs> Okay, so then Lamont comes over and picks up Melissa. It's super awkward. Um, I had to remember like what the issue was, but obviously I think it was the fact that she told um, Lamont not to come out to LA, which I still feel like later on he does come out because I saw that in the trailer because um, her and um, Courtney are in uh, the studio and then Lamont's like sitting right there getting I guess jealous I don't know but um he was upset by that but he was I mean he was definitely being cordial he could have been meaner but it was still very awkward and he but he was also passive aggressive so it's kind of like you know y'all just need to talk talk it out but um yeah so then Mia meets her mom out at a bar and the mom <laughs> the mom has issues because this man comes up wants to sit with them and literally mia has to say no like go somewhere else like you're here to meet with your daughter why are you trying to talk to this random ass man in his old ass bluetooth <laughs> but i thought it was funny when he said these old stuck up in here a bougie or something that was funny but i'm just like how often do you talk to your daughter you know you're always talking to these random guys like give it a rest give it a break you know talk to your daughter so they spoke about what was going on because obviously me is upset that the tour is on hold they were you know they her and shauna had a little bit of a run but um the mom was basically saying like you know you're you're gonna go through things in life you need to keep it moving and um i know mia said something about this life like this city is not what i'm about like you know there there's nothing going on here and the mom said you know it's good enough for me and that 
me and Nisa count her blessings. And to me, it's, it's I agree with both of them. There needs to be like a middle ground because I understand Mia not wanting to settle down um, and stay in Miami or stay where she is if, if there's nothing going on. Like she wants to build, she wants to grow, she wants to get out of that town compared to her mom who seems very um comfortable with this 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 life and, and a lot of people are comfortable not to say it's necessarily a bad thing but obviously her mom has issues like she has an alcohol problem she's hopping from different men at her age um and she doesn't have a good relationship with mia so it's like she needs to work on that and i see that mia doesn't want to become that but i also think what I agree with with the mom is that, you know, you're still living, you still have good health and you're you're going to go through bumps in the roads and, and you have to keep it moving. You know, you have to keep it pushing. Um, you are still able to travel. You do have to count your blessings. But I understand her wanting more. Like, what is she supposed to just she was on tour and now it's now it's on hold. So it's like. She's not just going to be super happy about this situation. So, yeah. What threw me off is when the mom was like, okay, well, can I go get the guy now? And she said something like she was, you know, talking to the guy. She said something like, oh, my my homegirl was just playing, blah, blah, blah. Like, why are you calling your daughter your homegirl? Like, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy as hell. Like, that's so crazy. So, so yeah, overall, this episode was a little dark, you know, with Blue getting beat up. And then the aftermath, the AK, um, there were still some funny moments. I I feel like I'm always saying hopefully hopefully things get better with these girls because <laughs> this yeah I guess compared to the first season this is a darker season it's still a funny show though um but yeah tell me what you thought below leave a comment how you felt about this episode what was going on with Blue what's going on with Lamont Mia her bird ass friends uh Shauna and Maurice do you think that Shauna is done with Maurice do you think they're gonna get back on tour so yeah um, if you like this video like comment and subscribe and look forward to my next review thanks for watching